Hello guys. Good evening. Hope you're doing amazing. Greetings from Sacred Works Foundation. So today we will be going live with Ronal Kachar. Hello Robi. Hello Hainal. So we are today, good evening guys, uh, so today we are going to go live with the one and only Ronan Kacha. So give me just some um, time to get in touch with him. Work Foundation. So I'm just getting in touch with Ronak. Just give me a second. Hello, Ronak. What's up? Hi. How are you doing? Amazing. And you? All well? I'm doing great. So I just want to give a quick briefing to all our viewers right now. So today, mm -hmm. guys, we have Ronak Gajar with us. He's a 32-year-old young yogi, <laughs> and he has been inspiring a lot of people. Uh, he works in the IT profession. He's a integrated wellness. Uh, coach and he's also a meditation guru and also a business strategist. What a multi talented guy! Seriously, <laughs> thank you, Seriously. Thank you, thank you. so uh, how are you doing? Oh, uh, it's amazing. I can't be grateful enough to this whole lockdown because you know, Bombay traffic is crazy. <laughs> and <laughs> so now, if you can make money at home. That's the best time to be just at home, spend your time with family, friends, and do work at from home. So that's the best. Yes. Yeah. And actually, you? How are you? How are you? I'm doing great. So I've been doing a lot of meditation these days. It's really helping me a lot to keep myself Love. safe and exercise. You know, just doing some yoga and uh, calisthenics workout. That's it. Lovely, lovely, and. I'm so happy. First of all, uh, no, thank you, and every you know, it's just to you. All the viewers should be informed that your foundation is doing a great job. You know it, <laughs> but it's best to appreciate it uh, as it's important to get appreciated and receive this appreciation because it's not normal, you know, for a young person like you to run this, and it's not easy to walk to do something which is out of the system. <laughs> this is not regular from the system, right? So that was really great. Thank you for doing this. Th thank you so much. Uh, your people like you and all the other people have been supporting us and motivating us a lot. So, you know, it's a pleasure to just give back it to the society. So right, uh, moving right. forward, uh, mm -hmm. uh, like how do you explain uh, Ronak Gajar's journey? Like how did it all start? Yes. Uh, thank you. Now it's, it's, it's uh, again, very wild, wild journey, <laughs> you know, like I believe it's uh, been very crazy and wild. I started working at the age of 15 and okay. I used to su supply newspapers and milk to my school friends home. So I was working in a convent school and I used to give, you know, all distribute all this and do this profile work from mm -hmm. there. It has been a very roller coaster and I'm grateful that this roller coaster had been beautiful, lots of learning. I moved to IT professional being a commerce graduate. Now that's again a twist. I was a commerce grad. Right. I did <laughs> from Mumbai University that took part time. Like after 13th grade, I dropped out of college and okay. then did a part time uh, education with, uh, you know, uh, university, Mumbai University. And then 
joined an IT career, a full-fledged working with Microsoft as well. So Wipro was this is the pair, like okay. the company, and they had Microsoft projects which I was working for as well. Okay. And from there, I moved to direct. Obviously, corporate politics happens, and then you give up and stuff. But I was in another mind frame that I, you know, you are young and you have that josh. <laughs> you want to show <laughs> the world. So I moved. Uh, my parents had moved to an ashram in 2006, so that is a very important link. They were a full-time meditators, okay. and 2011, so 2006 to 2011, four five years, I realized mm-hmm. I was working full time. I was making good money, being 21, mm-hmm. 22 year old, and that time I was not, uh, you know, happy and satisfied from within. <laughs> and whereas yeah. I see my parents, they are not working. no job in meditation ashram obviously they have no they have a schedule but they had nothing to look forward to okay okay tomorrow you have to go out for office or you know do and they were both were working they had their own businesses mm-hmm. my mom and my dad and then i realized that happiness to achieve happiness the key is to do nothing <laughs> <laughs> sometimes Yeah, yeah, and majorly, it's majorly like you understand inside there should be nothing. You do your work outside, okay. but inside the inner world has to have very silent, serene kind of atmosphere, and that's the uh, inner thermometer. I say the statistics should be mm-hmm. like very calm and chill inside. And okay. I started with hunting. I became a healer first. I did a lot of healing courses. I invested all the money. Then I learned yoga. I joined yoga. I became a yoga teacher. after mm-hmm. few years of teaching yoga i realized i have another skill i give a integrated yoga i don't just teach yoga do a class and run away no uh-huh. i give diet i do healing i check your chakras i i do you know past life i do current life i do a lot mm-hmm. of crazy stuff. and then moving to a uh, business i used to give business ideas to my friends and it used to succeed and i like did i really do that <laughs> but <laughs> it it kept on working then meditation i did a lot of i did overall 1000 hours of certifications on yoga breathing and meditation from international yoga school <laughs> really wonderful seriously that's wonderful so in nutshell i now you understood at a very young age so i uh, i'm grateful that you know we got a chance to communicate and stuff through mm-hmm. internet medium and we uh, So I understood that you know the sooner you realize it's better. You have to monetize your passion and also yeah. help the world. Help help the world. There is no other way apart from helping the world. That's true. That's so true. Seriously. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. In in shortcut, that's Rana Gajar. <laughs> that's really you know it's like a roller coaster ride, but uh, the end product and the people you are yeah. inspiring right now. and yes. you have been doing so many guided meditations right. and you have been finding so many people that's a really wonderful mm-hmm. job you are doing right so that's Thank amazing feeling personally speaking uh, today i was meditating for 5 10 minutes and i was so peaceful after so many days mm-hmm. i was so peaceful so i could right. understand and how it is so moving forward right. uh, uh when you do meditation like what kind of meditations are there like can you explain us in a, a bit detail right there there are quite a few you know uh, as an individual or as a practitioner or a teacher there are mm-hmm. uh, the category goes because now it's very fresh thank you for asking this question again as we did decide this questions so mm-hmm. i am doing uh, i am recording and i am making the online course of meditation to become a teacher right now that's going on and uh, there are two styles of meditation in any framework active and passive active is okay. where you as an individual walk to a garden uh, bare feet or you hug your trees you do your affirmations okay. closing your eyes you chant a mantra that's active you are taking action to do meditation yeah But there is this passive where you need a healer you need a coach you need a guide an audio podcast or a youtube video or you know an online course anything anything which is yeah. not you are not someone is guiding you passively yeah yeah so passive meditation okay. so there are more than 
hundred and twelve meditation in a book which I you know one of the books which I follow. Uh, it's mm-hmm. called Vigyan Bhairav Tantra. The word is uh, very big, but it's a very powerful meditation for anyone living in material world. It's walking meditation, breathing, swimming, smoking, drinking, <laughs> all of that. <laughs> There's a lot of variety these days. Yeah, so, it's true. Uh, so when when you practice meditation, what do you uh-huh. feel like? What is the best? Like having an active thing or a passive meditation process? What's, what's Now, your uh, thought on? Yeah, yeah. I I I and uh, the question is perfect. The answer here I would say is depending on the individual, because okay. see I. my journey my guru like one of my my parents are staying in an ashram where the guru is there who eats mm-hmm. no food i have seen and mm-hmm. he wears only one cloth like a naga sadhu proper mm-hmm. and thing is he gave me an initiation a guru mantra at the age of 2 when i was 2 years old yeah so, that's so uh, it's crazy it's crazy and i was blessed i i say i am blessed i'm you know divine it's universe mm-hmm. बट कैसा है कि इफ इफ यू आर इंक्लाइन टू मंत्रा मेडिटेशन यू आर चैंटिंग अ मंत्रा ऑन योर ओन इट टेक सर्टन टाइम टू एक्टिवेट दोज और अराउंड यू वाइब्रेशन अराउंड दैट मंत्रा सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ सो आई वुड ऑलवेज सजेस्ट टू गो फॉर अ टीचर फर्स्ट फाइंड अ गुड टीचर इफ यू कैन फाइंड अ टीचर इन टू डेज टाइम इंटरनेट इज लाइक सो पावरफुल सो पावरफुल yeah youtube is been i believe youtube may be having its down you know downfalls but there are so many good guided meditations you can search for it mm-hmm. start with breathing exercise start with guided meditation so it's a passive one start with passive after 3 mm-hmm. months 6 months or 1 year of practice when you know mm-hmm. that you don't need any dependency of a teacher you can sit one hour by yourself and mm-hmm. after days today also like i have been practicing like very religiously for last 7 to 8 years properly mm-hmm. and uh, in when i'm starting full time professionally but as a kid i started from 2 years but now till today i always believe that you know i listen to some uh, masters list uh, you know teachings and preachings sometimes once in a week once in two weeks and majorly i will do my online like my own like i'll prepare my sequence i'll do my breathing i'll do my yoga and then i switch to meditation it's the call yeah. you're calling but 30 90 days 180 days 6 months 3 months 6 months and 1 year it takes to you know slowly shift the gear there is no shortcut yeah. that's true that's true it takes a while that's true. yeah sure. so right. moving forward uh, ronak you have been mm-hmm. doing so many things like you have been what, i want to ask this question what is the role of a yogi in this current society right now how how do you reach out to people now again a uh, very you know very heavy question <laughs> but i'll answer it very lightly uh, yeah. because see right now honestly uh, i would not say yogis there are very mm-hmm. few yogis right now on the planet we mm-hmm. as and professional coaches like i'm a wellness coach i also in my room in my mm-hmm. like in my personal room i'm a yogi outside mm-hmm. the house, outside the room i'm a professional yogi i need to you know pay my bills yeah. you know take care of family and stuff but as a coach mm-hmm. as a professional we all there are more i have like two three groups online where are there are more than you know 3000 2000 yoga teachers and you know studio owners and stuff and there are so many co- co- groups online with mm-hmm. yoga teachers coming yeah. to the point that if individual yoga teacher handles 1000 people and say i am mm. taking one hour a day free yoga class or a meditation or a breathing or whatever it is then mm. it will lift the society to crazy level because right now internet is at the most minimum cost available yeah you have instagram i have instagram and many people have instagram and you you facebook and whatever youtube one mm. hour teaching every day for 30 days in the lockdown lift and taking only 1000 people or taking 100 people or 500 people whatever the number may be it mm-hmm. will shift the consciousness one it will raise the vibration right now fear is outside my house mere khidki ke baad just outside my window when i see down my lane is very silent anyways whether covid or lockdown or no lockdown it's a very chilled out place where no one not many people are walking and talking 
stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If if the vibration is raised by these yogis and professionals, it will mm-hmm. help the society to come out of the fear because fear is being sold in every news channel. And mm-hmm. I'm not blaming the news channel, but you know, it is the way they project it. In the way yeah. they project, it. it's crazy. <laughs> These days, it's becoming yeah. really difficult to motivate people. But I feel yeah. the work you are doing right now. I saw recently the video which you explained mm-hmm. about the learning which you went through over the process. It was so intuitive and so understandable <laughs> for all the common people. So they Correct. can get uh, deeper learning from you know conversations yes. like this and. even this conversation which we are having right now can inspire right. so many people so so true so true so uh, moving forward to uh, ronak uh, i want to ex- understand this uh, term of chakras in our body how how do they you know keep the balance and what what are the things like i, I have yes. very less knowledge sure sure so i'll start with like a very basic stuff so everyone in the right now whoever is watching this uh, video and whoever will watch this in future as well there are seven mm-hmm. chakras there right mm-hmm. but there are 36000 minor chakras which we always omit to so seven major fueling system energy system it's like you can say they are your super powers seven super powers but what is bigger 36000 or seven 36000 so yeah. we we always forget the bigger picture we always focus on the smaller okay seven chakras let me only work on this so we mm-hmm. we go so those who are beginning the chakra journey that's for beginners they mm-hmm. should read about the chakras mm-hmm. and do a simple white light golden light meditation so it's a universal energy working through you okay and that light is falling on all the chakras there's crown there's third eye there's heart and stuff so white light and golden light the two lights chakra meditation the simplest one to begin the journey then mm-hmm. there are lot of chakra tests and you can you know you can approach to me any time there's no charge i don't you know i don't believe in money money will flow if i'm doing good work and providing value money will flow that's my first motive but that's as true. and when time permits i can do an chakra assessment for you and anyone who's listening to this video and any year mm-hmm. i can send you a form once you assess ke which aspect of your life now health is one mm-hmm. chakra many chakras mm-hmm. is health then mm-hmm. spirituality is the other chakras then yeah. relationship and finances so your finances is connected to one chakra mm-hmm. your relationship is connected to one chakra or few other chakras like if you're not speaking correctly like i was like that's the reason i made this uh, tattoo <laughs> you will you will not believe i was a very shy person i could not talk to any female sitting across the table and ask for a, even a notebook and even to guys i had in my old 10 years of education and schooling i had four male friends rest were strangers only four good like very close friends college also first years only four five friends and then i left college like everyone's making their girlfriend what's the point that's boring <laughs> you know that's not going to help and you need to make money you need to grow further in that was my calling so chakras mm-hmm. does not help if you start balancing every aspect of your life and okay. that happen that balancing happens with white light golden light first mm-hmm. two there are chakra mantras there are individual chakras working like if you want to work on your health there is a root chakra if you want to work on your stomach issues stomach chakra is there heart relationship you know uh broken heart broken or you know pe- girlfriend boyfriend cheating each other whatever whatever so that mm-hmm. heart chakra throat chakra third eye is intuition you are very intuitive or you want to work on your intuition third eye chakra or you say that i am enlightened i have nirvana then you work on your crown chakra so okay. these are these are major chakras but minor ch- i love i love to work on both minor chakras are on your palms that is fire okay. air is earth water the way you write your affirmations the way you write your goals can create your reality the okay. what you watch i i again since 2006 till 2020 it's how much 14 years i guess mm-hmm. i do not i did not buy any television i had lots of money i earned i lost a lot of money but i never bought a television to watch whenever i travel out of like bombay or maharashtra or india 
Yeah. I go to a hotel room, I become a baby, and I watch TV for some time, and I get bored in fifteen twenty minutes. <laughs> so no TV. <laughs> First is don't watch rubbish TV. Watch yeah. Netflix, watch Amazon, watch YouTube, watch anything. Don't watch mm. TV. <laughs> yeah. That's minor chakras. You're working on your minor chakras on your eyes. What you eat. Mm-hmm. That's your mm-hmm. minor chakra on your tongue. How you breathe. Mm-hmm. You you put hundred perfumes or you use specific perfumes which really enhances your experience as a human. Your minor mm-hmm. chakra. Yeah. So chakras okay. are very crazy stuff. We can go on for chakras, but yeah, please go ahead. Yes. <laughs> yeah, seriously. So I never thought about it in so much depth, but I that is a lot of science behind it, and you have been explaining it so well. So I'm sure I'm going to read about it. So any book yes. related to chakras? What can you recommend it to people and even me? Yes, uh, there are two books. So here I'm using an opportunity to promote myself, but uh, <laughs> it, it's a good thing uh, that you know never be shy or become shameful or shameless when you promote yourself. That's what I believe because you're doing good work. I'm not promoting any harmful stuff. Yeah, yeah. I ha- in this lockdown. and that's my goal for last 10 years 20 years i don't know since childhood that i want to write a book and yeah. i'm just on the preface part the last bit of thanking everyone who helped me to write this and inspired me to write this book i'm writing a book on chakras only <laughs> amazing amazing that is so good and second thing uh, so that's one which is going to come out on 7th of may today only i did that when am i going to do my goals and stuff so 7th <laughs> of may i'm going to launch it Uh, okay. as a ebook and it's going to be on amazon and kindle and stuff but second i love one of the teachers book again i don't remember the author but the book name is powerful it's called chakra bible okay so i started it's a very thick like a very heavy book uh, and chakra bible gives you crystals this that what to use and stuff so i understood india does not right now resonate they do not resonate with you know uh what do you say not precious stones like i can buy a yellow sapphire ruby they resonate yeah. with that indians resonate with that yellow sapphire ruby or mm-hmm. whatever green emerald and stuff but mm-hmm. there are certain stones where are uh, like you know uh, very powerful stones which mm-hmm. are not precious stones but they are emitting powerful crystals they use as crystals so in okay. my book i have promoted crystals because see you and i will not go and buy 1 lakh rupee ka stone no no yeah chance. that's Mm-hmm. that's crazy so we can buy a, like a 500 or a 1000 rupees ka stone and keep it and do our work with that uh, crystal on our chakra and it heals and i have been using crystals for 5 7 years now it's magical results so in mm-hmm. my book it's a 45 50 page book i've worked with crystals with meditation with breathing exercises and what it mm-hmm. will help what it will benefit what what if it is not working correctly so mm-hmm. that way because people don't have time to read thick books what i understood with that teacher she was amazing mm-hmm. it's a female author but uh, chakra okay. bible is one and they yeah. are you can read so do not go on blogs because what happens confusing internet is confusing ask the right yeah. teacher i'm happy mm-hmm. to create a video on chakras and give it to you guys you watch you don't watch your choice but do not go to the wrong place read something wrong mm-hmm. and then start working on the wrong thing because i have invested so many years on chakras and now this was my first thing which i worked on chakras that oh i want to activate some chakras you know super powers this that no it doesn't work that it is totally different <laughs> yeah it is really yes. interesting to know about everything and obviously if you have written it so it will be depthful and it will be very good for all the people i feel so yes, that's yes, really yes, amazing yes, moving forward you. to uh, moving forward to uh, i want to know more about sound healing it's a very interesting thing which vijil wanted to know even i wanted right. to know and i think m- most <laughs> of the people you. will be interested it's right so yeah so very uh, sound now mm-hmm. as we know in indian culture mantra chanting is in every you know most of the major festivals mantra chanting is a very big part of it now every word we say is having a vibration and that's been proven now i don't need to prove i'm grateful and lucky that in today's scientific age everything is proven so yeah. every chakra emits a vibration every mantra whatever we say is a vibration now if you repeat now the book secret law of attraction book and the secret 
is very tip of the iceberg there is so much in depth mm-hmm. into it mm-hmm. so whatever vibrations you use has a vibration which works on your neuron which makes a connection with your thoughts feeling and emotion and action like if i'm thinking yeah. i'm positive i'm positive i'm writing i'm positive i'm positive and then i act as a positive person mm-hmm. it will come in alignment warna mai sirf repeat karunga in front of the mirror i am positive i am positive I'm, it will never work never work okay. <laughs> i'm not taking action to it so when yeah. you say sound healing every sound our indian classical music has this seven sur surs right sare ga ma pa these sounds have seven chakras vibrating with that sound so there are some okay. instruments which are very natural organic like uh, okay. if you say very the most organic which i have been now working on is uh, harmonium harmonium okay. sounds yeah, yeah. i was when i play harmonium mm. and certain surs with the harmonium the vibration which feels in the body is crazy now i'm also working okay. on getting a hang hang drum which is the most uh, uh, latest gadget trendy gadget on hang drum where you play this hang yeah. drum it resonates with this and it's a, you know like a fancy and you know jazzy stuff but it's amazing mm-hmm. i use singing bowls right now giving sound bath singing bowls mm-hmm. these are tibetan singing bowls which are you know made with with hand so a hand yeah, hammered yeah. so that's what mm-hmm. it heals your mind this sound goes to your ear drums and then it heals mm-hmm. your brain and it connects your brain so now keep come keeping it in four lines next four lines we can we understand the sound healing your brain emits a frequency by thinking one step mm-hmm. one that thing can yeah. be positive negative whatever mm-hmm. when you play a yeah. singing bowl it mm-hmm. connects your brain frequency to that singing bowl frequency and makes your brain and singing bowl frequency match now singing bowl mm-hmm. is pure neutral energy yeah then your your brain starts becoming step 4 is your brain starts becoming neutral because it's running too much overthinking you are stressed negative with when it connects with the sound of the singing bowl it becomes a uh, equilibrium or neutral energy fifth you go okay. in meditation naturally you don't need to put an effort it happens like it's the same effect like you listen to your favorite music <laughs> okay same. yeah yeah i can totally relate to it right now yeah it becomes a uh, it's a musical high and that's what i call a meditators high or a yogi high where you listen to your favorite instrumental music and you're like wow some other planet <laughs> <laughs> so are there any relation to uh, secretion of serotonin like the happy hormones during this process that's why we are feeling that high or is yes, something related to the process so there are many so thank you for asking this question again we humans mm-hmm. are basically a play of hormones anger is an hormone yeah happiness is a hormone as you said mm-hmm. serotonin dopamine and all of that mm-hmm. uh, weight what you eat and weight is a thyroid hormone sitting on your throat so there are so many okay. hormones when you resonate mm-hmm. with that sound or wh- mm-hmm. whether you resonate don't resonate with the singing bowl sound it connects to your mm-hmm. brain frequency and starts to it helps you to vibrate at that frequency of happiness and all the happy hormones starts releasing why because right now brain is overthinking analyzing mm-hmm. judging jealousy anger whatever is suppressed when you listen mm-hmm. to that favorite singing bowl or your favorite instrumental music when you listen mm-hmm. to any word lyrics even mm-hmm. lyrics will, then the person's vibration also starts attracting let's say you listen to a sad song listen to it mm-hmm. 10 times a day what happens when you have a heart broken when your girlfriend boyfriend or anyone leaves you your heart <laughs> you listen to that song and it become uh, oh so nice so my nice sad song is giving me happy, giving me a kind of oh, connection a relatability uh-huh. but when you listen when you're morning going to your work nowadays lockdown but let's say morning you wake up you listen to your favorite music which is like an upbeat music your charge mm-hmm. to go to work that, that yeah. yeah that's what power that's the power of music and music can release a lot of happy hormones sound mm-hmm. healing meditation can release a lot of happy hormones at your will at your will <laughs> that that's amazing if we, we have one vigil is uh, mentioning didgeridoo <laughs> yeah, yeah it is um, 
it is amazing it works on so many chakras i had uh, researched about it uh, i had mm-hmm. played it in uh, hampi in mysore last i remember uh, mm-hmm. it is it works on your throat chakra the vibe mm-hmm. base mm-hmm. of didgeridoo is humming it is mm-hmm. like mm, yeah, yeah. Mm, and so so powerful so so powerful your mm-hmm. breathing exercise happens because i have i have worked with an australian you know my yo- yoga friend and mm-hmm. uh, we went to hampi we chill we did and it was a plastic made didgeridoo so it was a plastic yeah, yeah. bamboo which you can carry because my question was can i carry it everywhere i i learned playing a little bit of flute i learned playing a little bit of tabla i tried i experimented a lot i never mm-hmm. went on anyone's opinion i experimented a lot so didgeridoo mm-hmm. is superb and breathing ex- so anyone who smokes cigarette mm-hmm. again a tip i i would want to give mo- much and much value anyone who's into smoking and who's listening to this buy a didgeridoo mm-hmm. practice it for 90 days your smoking will naturally drop off why because it requires crazy lung strength lung capacity seriously crazy and it it is so powerful that you will stop smoking naturally you don't need to make an effort if you love didgeridoo your smoking will go away <laughs> <laughs> that's really amazing so to just uh, put a point there vigil makes didgeridoo by himself the plastic mm-hmm. one wow okay so one, no so one, one. order is done so vigil one of the business point is done for us uh, we have got a so any relationship uh, kiran i believe is any relationship mm-hmm. to take that there is a transaction like you and i are talking there is an energy exchange you are happy smiling and you're doing good job i'm doing good job so we connect we vibrate at a good frequency yeah then it can be a transaction that i am hap- happy to give value on this platform and you are mm-hmm. happy to you know promote me a little and bring me as a speaker because you respect that work what i do that's yeah. why so vigil we are taking this didgeridoo and we will do a next round harmonium didgeridoo and hang drum <laughs> yes amazing. that's really amazing uh, so moving forward to ronak uh, what were the ho- hobbies you you know explore during this lockdown since we have nothing to do we have nothing to go outside stuff like that so what uh, hobbies did you explore i i did uh, as I, as i mentioned i've been mentioning this uh, the secret is already out one of the top uh, hobbies which i explored this time was you know at least 10 minutes mm-hmm. of every 2 3 days playing in harmon so i'm learning okay. harmo- no harmonium so i'm okay. using an internet medium i had bought this course of like the i'm mentioning the number because uh, the reason that people understand investing in self education and your hobby is a must mm-hmm. you pay yeah. $1 or you pay so the course was for $99 it's mm-hmm. it's by a teacher i want to give a story about this this teacher mm-hmm. is a foreigner is a foreigner and he has stayed in india for let's say 5 10 years or 5 years with okay. the guru who has mm-hmm. apple guy who is the apple owner i forgot mike who is that guy who is the own steve jobs steve. so steve jobs before he became steve jobs he was staying with this guru his this guru's name is neem karoli baba neem karoli baba okay. and he was alive this foreigner krishna das mm-hmm. he had stayed with him and he made a online harmonium course and i bought it okay. it was for 99 dollars and trust me until today i can't say like he played in uh, what is the biggest grammy award he played in one of the grammy awards as a opening ceremony crazy That's he's really big mm-hmm. and i followed him for years i listened to his chanting and mantras and i used to meditate on his sound as well and then i bought his course i practice and you know you like a dronacharya wala scene hai right that story that he yeah. he guy watches that uh stone idol and he starts learning using the stone idol so i watched his online videos and i kept practicing practicing my wife got fed up my cats yeah. used to run away with the harmonium sound but uh it took me a month or a two to practice mm-hmm. one three line four line of humming on harmonium automatically mm-hmm. and it was a blessing so i explored that and now i play two three lines of humming of that and this course i bought around 7 10 years ago and i never used it like 5 7 years ago i never this is the time i got like okay let me sit with my harmonium sit and just start playing 
<laughs> that's crazy it's a very good process i feel you know you learn a new instrument and it becomes a part of your own body yes yes same goes that we are the resonating body in didgeridoo yes Yes, yes, it is very, very important. The second uh, hobby I explored again was writing a book. I felt I will never be. It requires a crazy amount of discipline, and mm-hmm. uh, being into meditation and yoga for a long time, discipline was there. But when you reach mm-hmm. a certain advanced stage, what uh-huh. happens is uh, you feel you no. Know, uh, and I've worked that way. I've always worked that way. Previously, uh, you can say I was in Dubai for four years till two thousand sixteen. Okay. So before four years, I used to take six classes, eight classes a day: yoga, meditation, pranayam. Mm-hmm. Now, I take only premium people. Why? Because mm-hmm. like it's like CEOs and you know uh, CEOs and management and v- uh, VIP people. So it drills mm-hmm. down to all the people. Like if I will take the head of the family. I will teach a woman, and she will teach to her kids and her husband and everyone in the house. I don't have to teach the husband and tell her to get her wife and kids. No, I'll teach the wife. Everyone, mm-hmm. is. I'll teach a CEO, and that CEO will inculcate in the entire system. So I don't need to go from bottom to top. I go from bo- top to bottom, and it's that's, automatic. That's, that's cumulative effect, man. That's crazy, seriously. And and that's where I learned to write a book. I made a discipline every day. I woke up at six o'clock, finished my meditation, mm-hmm. all my ritual. and mm-hmm. morning is fresh time one hour every day hardly one or two pages in 20 mm-hmm. 30 days all my 40 pages are over now only last few pages are remaining like thanking everyone making the book cover and just launching it <laughs> that's fabulous seriously one uh, to do list cover finished during the lockdown that's really yeah. productive it's a, it's, a, it's a blessing i believe it's a blessing that you know this lockdown if anyone who's listening to this can explore their hobby if you don't have a hobby help your husband help your wife help your friends help your mother because lots of kids would be learning from this do mm-hmm. something which making you uncomfortable like i don't feel comfortable writing a book like ronak becoming an author was not my story i had this mm-hmm. goal for like 9 10 years but mm-hmm. i never did an execution action towards it it mm-hmm. was uncomfortable to make a you know i it was uncomfortable for me to dance on a video i danced on a video for the first mm-hmm. time after so many years like i do that but mm-hmm. proper video only for dancing i did this time in my lockdown i danced that's without the video but I, that's how you know you get something which is un- do something which is uncomfortable <laughs> yeah that's that's really motivating amazing man seriously yeah. so yes. going forward to uh, are there any uh, schedule like uh, meditation meditation should be done in the morning or yoga should be done in the morning like what is the perfect timing for yoga and meditation yes this thank you yeah thank you again this is a very important question which i keep getting and i would want to you know give value as much value as possible here it's mm-hmm. there is no time for meditation okay but if you are a beginning at your starting level you are starting mm-hmm. off the journey put a timer 7am mm-hmm. then you start morning then morning stick to one time okay for 90 days 90 days is when your whole energy transform 21 days to make a habit everyone knows 90 yeah. days to shift your mind because we all mm-hmm. come with a belief system i was born in santa cruz in a very you know humble low income group in santa cruz in a in a slum environment mm-hmm. and from there when i was meditating every day with my parents i started imagining and visualizing that i want to work for a biggest company like a powerful company i worked for wipro a, a car comes to pick me up a car comes to drop me and stuff then i always meditated and visualized that i want to work next to the tallest building in next to the in the world and i worked mm-hmm. next to burj khalifa in dubai so goals are cheap so when you meditate into beginner to intermediate level stick to a goal morning or night don't do mm-hmm. morning some afternoon some day night stick to a goal discipline will make you grow faster otherwise you will you know invest 9 years and then you will come mm-hmm. online and then you will talk about the same thing right right kira yeah. so that will be the scene so more, do stick to a time important mm-hmm. stick to a time don't change okay and anything related to yoga what asanas can be done regularly it's good for our mental health as well as the physical body what what can you recommend yeah. us to do so your yoga always see ancient textbooks so i believe we are modern right now i can 
no people who are listening to this do not do this do not drive and use your phone but we are advanced beings we are driving we are whatsapping we are doing all that crazy stuff right we are doing ten yeah. we are multitasking unnecessary but the yeah. ancient masters and gurus and have they have said one thing at a time right yeah. books say when you do yoga four hours gap but okay. in today's time we it's not possible so you do at least one hour gap before and after meals to do a physical yoga practice one hour okay one hour and practice to start with is a basic warm up now it's hot mm-hmm. temperature in mumbai so wherever you're listening it from then depending on your country temperature city temperature do basic warm up spot jogging okay. or whatever warm up exercise from internet and then mm-hmm. move to suri namaskars i have a suri namaskar video simplest mm-hmm. one now you should not have a knee pain if you're like physically fit and stuff you can do suri namaskar do a even okay. number 10 rounds 8 rounds 4 rounds 2 rounds start with 2 rounds okay after 2 rounds go to child pose now if you google child pose child pose a uh, balas mm-hmm. is called if you stay 10 minutes in that pose it mm-hmm. gives you 20 minutes of that pose gives you 4 hours of sleep ka benefit 4 hours amazing amazing that's crazy and i do like i so i just discovered i sleep like no i forgot that scientific name i sleep every every 6 hours i need a nap okay so in a in a night i sleep for 6 hours 12 to 6 okay. then from 6 o'clock to afternoon 1 2 o'clock again i sleep for 1 hour, hour to 90 minutes 1 to 1 mm-hmm. and a half hour then again okay. evening then afternoon after the afternoon nap i have a long gap till 12 o'clock so every 6 okay. to 7 hours i sleep for 1 1 and a half hour that's my sleep pattern okay sleeping is the biggest challenge in india right now because we've got netflix again and netflix is comparing with our sleep we get the best of the you know shows and we want to we get curious that oh what's yeah. happening next one so it's not wrong use your netflix hour, time as a 1 hour 2 hour time whatever time you have spare but don't increase it the show can mm-hmm. be curious but it is on internet you can you can watch it after 2 years 2 months also exactly. it will be there but yeah. do not compromise on your sleep because sleep is the best detox best mm-hmm. so that's when balasana comes so spend 10 20 minutes on balasana and listen okay. to yoga nidra you can go to youtube yeah. and guided yoga nidra guided meditation for 10 minutes after okay. so five ten, so four round surya namaskar or 10 round surya namaskar 10 minutes of balasana 10 minutes of mm-hmm. uh, this uh, yoga nidra Mm-hmm. your 40 one hour is done within one month you will call me you will search me and say my life is changing and i i'm thankful enough because this is the practice i have trained for 9 years and in 9 years i have trained physically more than 1 lakh student and on online on goki app where i'm teaching online for almost 2 years 5.9 mm-hmm. million views on videos on my videos it has achieved so that means yeah. i'm grateful it's not me it's not me kiran but it is that i'm proud of it i'm proud of it that i worked so hard to serve people so i have learned the combination this is the common general combination anyone can follow and it can help everyone like kids who are into education who are studying who are giving their examination whatever anyone from a 15 year old to a 50 year old can practice this that that's a very amazing experience you shared with us and i'm damn sure all the people who will be right now watching Watch us and people will be learning so much new stuff which they never thought about and and it can transform their whole life that's really Correct. amazing to listen and Correct. moving forward to a quick rapid mm-hmm. fire round for you uh, yeah. what is your favorite what Sorry, is your favorite, favorite food favorite food. food my favorite food is dal roti rice and achar Okay. Uh, what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie of uh, all time would be Dil Chahta Hai. Friends, love, connection, everything. <laughs> what is the story of your tattoo? Explain in one word. One word. Story of my tattoo is was from shyness to boldness. <laughs> <laughs> what is the first thing we'll like to do after the lockdown ends? 
once the lockdown ends first thing i would love to drink till here <laughs> alcohol <laughs> <laughs> so uh, th- that's uh, rona i want to ask one more favor from you uh, can we yes, have sir. a guided meditation session for all the viewers right now like why not let's minutes. do it let's yeah. do it yes so how do you go about so, it yes so and it's okay everyone can practice whether you had your evening snacks or no no snacks that's completely fine just keep your okay. spine straight the first and the most important thing spine straight gently closing mm-hmm. your eyes close your eyes okay. and okay. yeah and focus now on my voice as you breathe watch your breath traveling till the navel as you exhale watch your breath traveling out of the navel inhale and watch the stomach rising up exhale and watch the stomach falling down keep that complete awareness on your breath and observe the sound transferring to you now inhale exhale observe any thoughts coming to your forehead watch them observe them let them come and let them go feel as if you are watching the clouds of your thoughts inhale let them come exhale let them go follow the sound and breathe in deeper stay with your breath inhale a little more than your capacity and exhale a little more than your capacity now bringing the awareness to your forehead and slowly and steadily making space on your forehead on your third eye watching the emptiness the blank space with every inhalation and every exhalation steadily watch this emptiness and observe the calmness entering with your inhalation and your exhalation follow the sound helping you penetrate more deeper into your own self now breathe in and breathe out very gently bringing your awareness back to the body back to your breath and slowly keeping your eyes closed move your fingers move your toes and very softly moving your chin right to left rubbing your palms together cup your palms on your eyes cup them move them on your face on your neck shoulders chest stomach all the body and slowly open your eyes thank you <laughs> that i feel so fresh the a very hectic and tiring day i feel so fresh thank you so much ronak for 
you're welcome you're welcome i i feel a different energy right now seriously speaking feel so great right now. that's the power of the right coach and your receptivity you are receive you are receptive you are open to receiving this meditation and whoever comes with an open heart to listen to this meditation section for 5 minutes 3 minutes whatever it is they will start feeling these vibrations and that's Seriously. the best part <laughs> feel Great. amazing uh, so so uh, some questions uh, for moving forward yeah. to Uh, Ron, yes. about the current situation right down in uh, quarantine, and you know there is a lot of misinformation, a lot of chaos, and everything going on. What are your thoughts on related to that? Uh, so I'll come back to the one, the one line which I had said: Don't mm-hmm. watch news; it's not good. Yeah. See, first first thing is we have to kill the news completely because it's gonna send fear to you. It's mm-hmm. gonna inject fear. to mm-hmm. point number 2 to be taken care of is become aware you cannot change the world can you change this lockdown can you call up the prime minister or the government or the world chalo let's start the world no okay, what can you change you can only mm-hmm. change yourself in this quarantine time now if that and true. how do you change, how do you change yourself do your favorite thing to start cooking start helping your parents friends family call up do video calls with friends and talk about how you're feeling and change because this you've not done before india is changing yeah. i use the top world is changing yes but india mm-hmm. is changing massively why i never mm-hmm. i was always an online coach for last 3 4 years and i had my mm-hmm. journey to move to online before this lockdown is as well it was like a 70% online and a 30% offline model like which i was doing mm-hmm. but now i'm operating at 100% online model how yeah. because india is changing they are rece- they are receptive they are open that ronak let's do a zoom call let's do a video call instagram live previously it was mm. not happening so see how you can change your priorities i wrote so today i did a video i wrote goals i write goals for every year right 2020 this is my goal and somehow yeah. i was feeling 2020 is very powerful and mm-hmm. i never knew this is the way it was going to powerfully shift the entire world not only india now i have international clients also and mm-hmm. that's crazy that everyone's like ronak let's do online classes you get paid in dollars and pounds that's the best part right <laughs> and you are changing so do something that changes yourself don't look at the world world is world you cannot change them you change yourself this is the time yeah you cannot get this time back world will never that's- be shut again for next 10 20 years it's not going to happen <laughs> that that's the perfect answer for all the viewers right now i am going to meditate regularly and i am going to be as positive as possible i feel and, yes yes uh, one more question uh, about the current situation about the doctors and all the other people like uh, you and me and so many other people who are helping people like who are daily wage workers what are your thoughts about them so again we'll come to that uh, in the same format perspective mm-hmm. it makes see i worked with also as an intuitive healer i work mm-hmm. with dimensions as well and there okay. are multi dimensions to this now mm-hmm. you and i are you know one 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 part of the players or one we are playing one role we are playing multiple mm-hmm. roles okay mm-hmm. we are son to someone we are you know friends to someone and all of that but on this mm-hmm. humanity ground we are playing a role to help other people right on humanity yeah, ground yeah. Yeah, and in this in this level in this dimension keep doing good work no okay. expectation and awaken people that help see why are we doing this are you getting any benefit out of it? no are you going to no. do you have a hidden agenda that oh my god i am giving this meditation to this sacred works foundation and i'll know i'll become a big superstar tomorrow it's, no it's not that the agenda is to provide value and uplift human beings and this is what we have to keep promoting that see if we can mm-hmm. feed five, one people one person enough start with one people i'm not saying give 100 people food one mm-hmm. people if you can't give one person simple i i have a ritual i don't share that ritual but let me share again a simple one simpler one a, that's a sacred ritual that i'm not sharing but simpler mm-hmm. one i i i do i believe you know, i we love animals we all love animals so that's you true. keep 
simple food for your cats and dogs on the street go outside your building so don't irritate people from your building and your compound also go out go to a garden in this lockdown also i go walk down the street and put food and come back that's it my my job is done you can feed animals also you feed some yeah. consciousness that's the dimensional work but if you can feed a that's the highest order right because that human will really get that food and it will bless you that will bless you even the animals will bless you but humans mm-hmm. human helping human is that mm-hmm. way it's a humanity grounds you should work on it and that's the, the and mm-hmm. you should always meditate and keep in prayers for your doctors police people because they are going mm-hmm. through a lot of tough time if they are mm-hmm. reacting and giving lathi charge because they are troubled they cannot go yeah. home because they they have exposed themselves to corona outside on the street and they cannot yep. stay on the hotel also they do not get proper time to eat so they get mm, yeah. upset to send them positive yeah. vibration and if you can feed these neighbors and you are doing good work please do 500 bucks is like a starbucks a coffee mm-hmm. you go to any coffee yeah. shop to buy any movie i go for a movie and i know movie charge one ticket is 350 400 500 bucks right yeah so yeah if you are in lockdown think you're gone for a movie and give this money as a gift because the mo- i again hear the mantra i'm giving a very sacred mantra which will change mm-hmm. everyone's life if you follow this to the t i've learned a lot mm-hmm. of you know, powerful stuff what you give is mm-hmm. what you receive if you give mm-hmm. money you receive money if you give food you're going to get treated in the five star hotel but don't keep expectation say universe i'm open to receiving it and i have mm-hmm. got it i am a living mm-hmm. example given this and i got yeah. it so many times <laughs> that that's amazing uh, you no know, mindset which you are having right now and i think we have made a very nice bond over this conversation with so many people and right. i'm damn sure so many people will be inspired to do the same so yes uh, we did this uh, insta live session with ronak gajjar to promote mm-hmm. our foundation about the work which we are doing right now related to uh-huh. we are collaborated with humanity first foundation which is doing uh-huh. daily wage work lots of food essentials and they are reaching out to as many people as possible it's a right. very small amount guys and it with right. a collective effort we can help and reach out to as many people as possible that's our vision uh, i want people to be stay uh, staying healthy safe and also at the same time getting food and ronak i'm really thankful for this amazing session i Thank my you. total energy has shifted today to towards the spiritual side i'm going to wow. do the guided meditation and i i'm damn sure that so many people will be messaging you right away after this conversation yes, from sure. my <laughs> side it's a, yes. it was a pleasure interviewing you ronak and uh, greetings from sacred work foundation stay home thank stay you safe so thank you thank you we'll meet soon for Take sure care. thank you so much. Take care. God bless. Bye bye. Bye bye.